हेलो एवरी वन टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द यूज ऑफ ऑगमेंटेड रियालिटी एंड वर्चुअल रियालिटी इन डिफेंस सेक्टर ऑगमेंटेड रियालिटी एंड वर्चुअल रियालिटी हैव गेन सिग्निफिकेंट ट्रैक्शन इन वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज इंक्लूडिंग द डिफेंस सेक्टर दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज कैन हेल्प इम्प्रूव द ओवरऑल डिफेंस सिस्टम बाय प्रोवाइडिंग न्यू एंड इनोवेटिव वेज टू ट्रेन सोल्जर्स कंडक्ट साइमुलेशन एंड प्लान स्ट्रैटेजिक ऑपरेशन In this video let us discuss the use of AR VR in defense and its pros and cons. Now let's talk about the current use. First is training. AR and VR technology is currently being used to train soldiers in a variety of scenarios such as combat simulations and medical training. This allows soldiers to gain practical experience in a safe and controlled environment without the risk associated with real world training. Secondly, AR and VR technology is also being used to improve situational awareness for soldiers. This includes applications such as head-up displays and augmented reality goggles which provide soldiers with real-time information about their surrounding and potential threats. AR and VR technology is being used to assist soldiers with maintenance and repair tasks. For example, AR goggles can display schematics and instructions for complex repairs while VR simulation can be used to train soldiers on how to perform these repairs AR and VR technology is being used to assist with medical treatment for soldiers this includes applications such as virtual reality therapy for PTSD as well as AR assisted surgery and rehabilitation Now let's talk about the future use of AR and VR technology. Firstly, AR and VR technology could also be used to control unmanned vehicles such as drones or ground robots. This would allow soldiers to perform reconnaissance and other tasks without putting themselves in danger. Secondly, AR and VR technology could be used to improve communication between soldiers and other military personnel. This could include applications such as real-time translation as well as head-up displays that provide soldiers with real-time information about their location and objectives. AR and VR technology could be used to assist with intelligence gathering such as analyzing satellite imagery or interpreting intercepted communications. By using AR and VR technology to visualize this data Soldiers can quickly identify key features such as troop movements or potential targets and make informed decision based on this information. Next point is urban warfare. AR and VR technology has potential applications in urban warfare scenarios that require soldiers to operate in densely populated areas with a high degree of uncertainty and danger. AR and VR can also be used for mission planning and visualization allowing military leaders to create virtual maps and models of terrain buildings and other objects to help plan and coordinate operations Now let's talk about the pros of AR and VR technology in defense sector First is enhanced training AR and VR technology can provide more immersive and realistic training simulations for soldiers and other personnel which can better prepare them for real world scenarios. Second is improved decision making. AR and VR technology can provide soldiers and other personnel with more detailed and accurate information in real time which can improve their ability to make informed decision. Third advantage is reduced risk. AR and VR technology can be used to simulate dangerous or high stress scenarios without putting personnel at risk which can improve safety and reduce the likelihood of injury or death AR and VR technology can streamline processes and workflows such as maintenance and repair tasks by providing visual aids and step by step instructions Now let's talk about the cons of AR and VR technology in defense sector. First point is high cost. AR and VR technology can be expensive to develop and implement, which can be a barrier to adoption for some defense organizations. 
Second is it has some technical limitations. AR and VR technology is still in its early stage and can be limited by hardware, software and network capabilities which can impact the effectiveness and accuracy of training and simulation exercises. Third point is security risks. AR and VR system can be vulnerable to hacking which could potentially compromise sensitive information or disrupt operations. Another disadvantage is dependence on technology. Over-reliance on AR and VR system could lead to a decrease in the ability of soldiers and personnel to operate in real-world scenarios without the aid of technology. Overall, AR and VR technology has already proven to be useful in several defense applications around the world, including training, maintenance and logistics. The use of AR and VR technology in defense can greatly benefit India by enhancing soldiers' training, improving situational awareness, aiding in equipment design and development, and strengthening national security. Continued investment in this technology can keep India at the forefront of military innovation. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Comment below what are your opinion on this topic and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more hot topics like this.